back to the channel. So Parker and I today are working on rib stitching, and uh, the uh, I think the last video you saw that we got the uh, reinforcing tape on and we punched all the holes that we needed. Um, so we're going to show you how we're doing this, and we've got some challenges with the the ribs that have the uh, drag braces. We're going to have to figure out how to work around those. And then we have a couple places where we're going to have to do single stitch because it's just impossible to get uh, past uh, some of the supports for the diagonal braces. So uh, this is the uh, the thread I'm using, and uh, it's aircraft spruce. I can't remember the. It's a 50 DOF 17W natural, and I don't remember the manufacturer, um, but it's it's waxed, so it's really really good to work with um, and for my ribs it takes uh, three and a half arm lengths three and a half span arm spans so to make it the whole way so that's three and then about a half and that'll get it done so let me uh, find the scissors And the needle doesn't uh, doesn't require to, to tie this on. It's working out good where it's just really just tied, just with one half hitch, and then uh, I was able to work with that so far without any trouble. So, all right. So here's how this goes. So we're starting at the rear. Um, you can start either way. It's just easier for me to. Um, start from here for some reason um, and then uh, the interesting thing about starting from the rear is you can actually feed your needle down and you can see where you're going because <laughs> it's open back here so so you can see we're just going down and then through the hole in the bottom right there so we'll go down and then Parker will take it and uh, pull it through and then return um, back up the other side. And then just pull it down, just pull it all the way through. Then the first thing you do is you just you, you start out with just a square knot, so it's uh, right over left, and then left over right, and your square knot, of course, looks like that, which I might have messed up there. That doesn't look like a square knot, so let's try that again. Right over left, left over right, and that's our square knot. So I'm going to pull this one down, left over right, and we just pull that nice and tight. And then we finish that off with a two half hitches, so <clears throat> and then we push the knot inside with the needle here and what I'm gonna do is when I have my when I have my glue out I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna actually uh, put a little bit of uh, fabric cement on these knots to cut that off first 
Okay, so we got our knot inside. We'll just cut this off so we got a little bit of a tail. And then we'll just uh, stuff that in the hole. Okay. And then on the knot side, what we're going to do is we're going to feed from this first one up here to the next one. Just fighting it, I think. Okay, so we uh, fed to the next hole. And then we pull this through. And when you pull your string here, you want to make sure that you're only pulling along the rib line forward and you don't pull to the side because if you pull to the side you're going to rip the fabric so pull that nice and tight and then we're going to go down <clears throat> and again we can still see where we're at so we don't have to do anything special and then Parker will return that the same spot. He's crossing the rib on the bottom. There we go. And then we pull that through. And you leave a, a loop about about that big, just like a couple inches or so. And then you just turn it counterclockwise is the way I like to go. And then all you have to do is you come in the back of the top loop and then you rotate the needle around and you go under and through the bottom loop. Let me show you that one more time. So you go through the back then you go under and through the bottom. And this is the uh, Superflight um, system that I'm doing. This is, of all the ones that I watched, this is the one that I like the most. So, And then we're just pulling this nice and tight. And then you see our knot basically just dropped right in the hole. And now we repeat that and just go to the next one. Come out there. And we're going to go off and run on the next stitch. And we're pulling that in line with the rib. And then back down. Now here is where things change a little bit because I need to see where that where that's going. So I take a flashlight and if Parker centers that um, on the hole, we'll see if you can see this. When you get under there, you're gonna be on this side. On what? The right, this side of the... Wait, which... Yeah, this side, right? Yep. No. Yep. The other, yeah, the other side. That side. So he's centering the light on the hole, and it's doing something really funky to the camera. But <laughs> and I can see the hole. Did I get it? Yep. All right. That allows that allows me to see just exactly where the if I shoot for the middle of his circle, I'm gonna hit. Uh, right on the hole, so. And now Parker will return the needle to me and we switch, we trade lights. And now I'm gonna show him where the hole is up here. And he hits the hole exactly, so. And uh, now we've got our loop again. We just turn it counterclockwise. Just makes like a figure eight. And then we're going to go from the back through the top, rotate the needle through the bottom, back toward the front. 
and that's our knot. And just kind of pull this to the side and then lock your knot in. That really helps tighten it up. So, all right, and then we just again feed to the next uh, next rib. All right, so we're gonna get these next uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five ones done, and then uh, we get to the front. I'll show you how we finish this off. It's really simple. Okay. All right, so we've come up the last uh, the last hole, and everything is pretty much the way you saw it before. Um, and uh, since I'm standing at the leading edge now, I'm still rotating this counterclockwise just like before, except this time I'm still coming from the leading edge back. It's just that I'm coming through the front and then forward. Everything's the same. I'm just standing on the other side of it. I don't want you to get confused by that. All right, so we got our knot. We pull it back and forth until it's nice and tight. And then on this one, what we do is we finish this off with two half hitches. So and we go underneath our loop, underneath our reinforcing here. And then we're just going through our loop to create a half hitch. And then we're gonna, that's going to end up going in the hole as well. And then we do another half hitch. And then all that's left is to just cut a tail on this. And the knot pretty much has already fallen into the hole, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll just cut a, cut a tail and stuff the, stuff the tail of the thread down in the hole. And I'm going to do the same uh, on these when I get some glue on here and I have to put glue on. There's going to be some glue that seeps down in that hole and gets on that knot anyway. So I'm not concerned about those because we have to put our, our uh, fabric cement over top of each one of these, which we'll do. Uh, I'll show you how that goes. All right. All right. So because of the, we got these two stitches here just after the tank bay, and on the other side of the wing, we did these double. You can see right there. Um, when we get to the other side, the bottom of the wing, we're going to do those just with a single. And we just had to create our own little needle out of safety wire. This gets us in the hole, around the rib, and out the other side. And now Parker's working on a solution for... Uh, how to work around these drag braces um, so we can keep moving forward with those. So um, as soon as we get that solution figured out here, we'll catch up. All right, so we're just going to catch up real quick. We had to make another needle to work around the drag braces, and we made that one out of music wire, and it looks like this. It's basically just a big C, and what I did was I just bent over the end to... Uh, give me a place to tie the thread and then I put some CA on here to kind of smooth out this transition and just polish the edge a little bit with the Dremel tool and we're good to go. That we had to do as a single stitch um, because uh, you can't get to it um, you can't get to it with the rest of these and the bottom one is going to have to be a single stitch so we'll be we'll be ending these stitches here um, using our uh, curved needle. So same process, just different needle. So we're going to give this a go working around the drag braces. Um, and it's a little tougher to get lined up, but uh, a little slower than the, uh, the stick thicker straight needle. But uh, we'll get it. All right, we're going to keep going and then we'll be right back. All right, so... Uh, Parker and I are done for the day. It's time to go barbecue some burgers. Um, we we could have kept going, right? <laughs> but, uh, that took a bit to figure out those extra needles. Um, but good news is it worked. Um, we did a, it takes a, twice as long 
to do it with the curved needle, but um, but the technique works, and that's the important thing. So yeah, so we've got uh, just three more ribs to do, and then uh, flip it over, and we've got to catch this bottom here with some single stitches. Um, but we don't have to do single. We could always use the curved needle and then take put the long needle on and feed it through, but I think it'll be better just to do them single. So yeah, all right, so thanks for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it, and um, as always, we'll catch you later.